Hello, you're watching Tech Ed TV here from the Eaglevator in uh, Eaglevator Communications. And we have had a lot of surprises, new people, new tenants, new projects. So as you may expect, this one is pretty cool. It's in the Bluetooth world with uh, some very cool conduction technologies. Here we have uh, Bruce Bornstein, or new tenant with Conduction Labs. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Edwin. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So uh, t tell our audience what is it about. Like sure. You're preparing a, a, an Indiegogo campaign. Yes, yes. We have an Indiegogo campaign that will be uh, launching uh, the first week of, uh, of August. And uh, the product that we're featuring is, uh, is a timely one. It is an integrated bone conduction headset with a KN95 protective mask so that people now will be able to uh, have kind of a hands-free solution uh, while they uh, have their mask on, which is uh, in most places now required uh, that if you can't maintain social distance that you do need to wear some form of a mask. Uh, this allows you to do that and at the same time allows you to take your phone calls, uh, listen to music, listen to a podcast, and because it's bone conduction, your ears remain open, so not only uh, can you, you know, listen and do the phone calls, but you can also still be aware of your surroundings. People want to talk to you. You can be aware uh, and respond back to them. And uh, and the audio quality is actually quite good. Yes, I, I, I tried them, actually. I don't know if you saw the video I'm going to show right now. Excellent. I'm in my bicycle right here, and uh, I'm in, uh, by my house, and, and I was playing Spotify on the headsets. And uh, as you can see, my ears are not covered. And I'm able to uh, to ride safely. Correct. Because I, I don't. I, it's good for bikers to ride for people that excellent are exercising. Excellent for bikers. Excellent for runners. Uh, anybody who has uh, any outside activity. Also good for uh, uh, if you're working in an office where you have uh, you know proximity to other people in the office. You can wear this and still be uh, aware of of them. Uh, if your boss comes over and wants to talk to you, it's not like, you know, you're playing a video game on your monitor. Uh, you'll be aware that he's, uh, he's come over to see you. So it has many applications. All right. So one of the things I wanted to discuss with you was the, a little bit of a conduction lab. So we can go over the mask a little bit more. Stay tuned. We're going to sure. show a nice 360 video here for, with the mask. So um, tell me, what's, uh, what's your background, uh, uh, Bruce? And, well, I know your background, but... <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> but I, I, tell, yeah. Tell, tell, tell our audience, what, what's, where are you coming from and uh, why this mask? Sure, and, sure. So uh, I've been in the consumer electronics industry for, uh, for over 30 years. I stop usually at 30 because otherwise it makes me like an old fart, you know. <laughs> so, um, but in any case, uh, I've uh, worked with a number of uh, startup companies. In fact, most of my career has been uh, in working with startups. I take uh, great satisfaction in making something out of nothing. Right. Uh, and uh, the uh, Conduction Labs was really an outgrowth of my uh, uh, a previous company that I had founded and then I exited from called Aftershocks. And they uh, were a uh, manufacturer of, uh, of bone conduction headphones. And in fact, uh, Aftershocks really pioneered uh, making the uh, bone conduction uh, headphones into a category um, that uh, basically they had have had uh, to themselves. We don't want to do exactly what they're doing. We want to do variations on a theme. Um, we're going to be focused on, uh, on doing some uh, products that uh, utilize directional audio uh, in addition to bone conduction. Um, we're uh, experimenting uh, with your help, Edwin, uh, and one of my uh, associates, Larry Most, in exploring uh, doing some modular concepts uh, in terms of creating uh, transducers that can be interchanged with other devices. So you could use it for your headphone, you could use it for a uh, Bluetooth speaker, uh, and, uh, and provide a higher level of versatility in the category. So for me, um, this uh, was a, uh, something that I wanted to, to do uh, to to to, to kind of give back um, to the world to the world and and recognizing from a t you know we actually changed gears when the COVID virus broke out uh, from doing a uh, which we still plan to do a truly wireless bone conduction um, headphone uh, but this seemed to be something that was needed more right now and uh, so we kind of uh, flipped the switch 
and put our focus, energy, and attention and resources uh, to the mask. So basically I'm showing what people usually are familiar with with a K95 mask or an N95 mask like this one. And uh, in, in, in essence, this is kind of like a practical thing, but it has a lot of problems. If I receive a phone call, for example, then I have to remove it because people hear me muffle the voice or the voice doesn't sound right. Right, right. right. And you want to listen to the other person or you want to see what's going on in the phone. Then you have to pull it out and start like touching things, raising the volume, lowering the volume, that's things right. like that. So that's a, that's a, that's a sort of potential infection, right? That, yeah, uh, without a doubt. And, and this is hands-free. And this is totally hands-free. Yes. It's a technology that uh, that uh, you have uh, already some prototypes and showing some 360 right now. Yes, we are. You will see in the 360 that uh, uh, that you you're going to be um, having different materials as well uh, for for. We for are. We we you know one of the uh, uh, the visions that the company has is being able to look at what uh, may have already been done taking existing technologies, but then providing improvements that are benefits to the consumer. So, for example, this mask, the prototype that we had, was made out of neoprene. Neoprene is a non-breathable material. Right. So uh, we were able to find a vendor that has a product that they patented called Ventoprene. Ventoprene has all the attributes that neoprene has, right? It's waterproof. Um, and uh, But the big difference is is that it's breathable so that when you're wearing a ventoprene mask, you don't have that closed-in feeling in terms of the mask getting very hot that you would with a neoprene mask. Correct. Uh, and uh, as far as I know, we're, I think we're the only people that are using this material in this way. And 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 this is the, the inter interesting part. You're you're selling everything on Indiegogo, right? In a crowdsourcing campaign, we're, that's we're that right. New company. Uh, this is a new product launch for us, and we felt that the best platform with which to do that would be Indiegogo. And uh, what will be the the level of uh, support that you will expect from 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 the audience? If you want the launching day, you said is like uh, I think I has think we've, shifted yeah, we, a little it's bit. kind of been shifting a little bit, but right now it's looking like August fourth. Okay, stay tuned, people. <laughs> we want to come to vibermass.com. The vibermass.com yes. will be launching on August 4th, yes. which basically is less than a month, actually yes. in 15 days, yes. more or less. And um, and then besides that, what other features will you have in the in, in the Viper Mass? The Viper Mass is the mass that we're showing on the screen. We will have the, uh, the, the material, the breathable material. Breathable material. Bluetooth 5.0. Bluetooth 5.0, it will allow you to call up uh, Alexa and, uh, and Hey Google. Uh, it uh, has, uh, as I mentioned, you know, the audio capability with, uh, we believe, to be excellent audio quality. Um, and uh, it, uh, I'm just trying to think here. I, I think those are the key uh, attributes. What was the battery life in, in, that, in, that, in that mask? Uh, so, so battery life uh, from a standpoint of usage uh, and again, battery life is contingent upon like how loud you listen and how often you're using right. it for the audio. But you can expect about between seven to ten hours on the battery side. So, so, so if I'm doing like a like a CrossFit session or yes. I go to the gym, oh yeah, no problem. I can wear my mask the whole time, work out, yes, breathe, a sweat, yes, basically yes. listen to my music, never touch my mouth. That's right. Except if you want to drink some water. Yes. We haven't, we haven't worked the straw into it yet. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done that yeah, part. Yeah, wa yeah. Wa wireless feeding over Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A new t that's a new pattern. New actually, pattern. Yeah, yeah. But assuming that you have all that, then it's perfect for, for, for you. And then uh, what is it? So you already have a Bluetooth 4.0 mask that is uh, for that's sale. That's the one. Right. That's the one. That we, we're we're going to show in. We're showing on the screen yes. here as well. But uh, 4.0 to 5.0. Can you tell the audience a little bit? Well, What's primarily the what the 5.0 has, uh, I guess the big call out is the fact that it uh, provides lower power consumption so that your battery life is now going to be extended. One of the problems with many of the uh, uh, headphones, earbuds, wireless earbuds, is the, uh, is the battery life. Uh, and 5.0 provides for a longer uh, battery life. In addition, uh, there are other callouts uh, that you can put on that chip, which is uh, 4.0 wasn't doing uh, Hey Google or uh, right, Alexa. Right, right, right. 5.0 can do that for you. So 5.0 can actually recognize a little bit of your voice or Correct. tags. And That's right. Pre-program that and then trigger events into the phone so they can, um, 
or your mobile device in general. Yes. And tell me, like, will support Android devices, iPhone devices, iOS, uh, and your laptop, uh, Android. Uh, I believe with this new chip too, we'll be able to do multipoint. What that means is that you'll be able to not only have it uh, connected to your phone, but you connect it to your computer at the same time. That's a very good feature because, like, if you remember when you had a, an iPhone or an i on an Android, and then you pair, let's say, your headset to that, then then you need to unpair, kind of like sometimes even forget the device. That's right. Pair it to another device, and then start using that, and that's a little bit of a like a pain, right? Yeah. Like a pain and the beauty of it, this is this is seamless. So yeah. the multi-point connection is seamless. You're actually connected to both devices at the same time. Excellent news. And tell me one more thing, sure. uh, uh, Bruce. For conduction labs, like uh, your team is composed by really high-caliber individuals. I think we I'm we got involved. a lot of experience on this team. Uh, we have Larry, we Larry have, Moss. We have Larry Most. We have uh, Mark Abrams, uh, Bill Kimball, who was uh, a, a partner with me back at the Aftershocks company. Okay. Uh, and uh, we also have Eric Sion, who is our uh, individual who is in Seoul, Korea. And uh, when we first started the company, he was directing a team uh, mm -hmm. to help us with this truly wireless uh, bone conduction uh, uh, headset. Uh, but since we shifted, Larry is uh, also going to do a crowdfunding campaign. He will. In Korea. Oh, okay. On, they have a platform over there called What Is. Oh, yeah. okay. And so he's going to do a crowdfunding, and he's also going to help manage our sales in the uh, Asia market. Excellent, excellent. Sounds like a great team, guys. Yes. You got like experience. Uh, they got like uh, they're in the incubator here. So yeah. what, what else <laughs> you want? I'm helping them as well. He is. And we are very excited to launch this product. I think it's going to help a lot of people, especially those that are in fear of getting um, infected. And even if you're not, maybe you could be carrying the virus to to a family member that you yeah, love. That's another feature I want to mention, and I'm glad you brought that up because one of the problems with masks that have valves, and this mask has a valve, is that while it protects you as an individual, when you exhale, the air is coming out of the valve and potentially could infect somebody else. We're putting in a KN95 disc inside that valve so that when you do exhale, that exhale now has been filtered and will not contain uh, any pathogens that potentially could transmit the virus. So it will protect you like because uh, there the, are those that you can replace the, the, the filter, right? You yes. can remove the, the, the valve. But this one will enable you to breathe out and breathe in, entirely cleaning your both, breath. Both, both directions. Both directions. Correct. And uh, what's the price right now for this mask? Well, it's going to have a full retail price of $149. That's our target retail. However, if you come to the Indiegogo campaign and you get there real early, you could be able to buy it for maybe $79. We're going to have about 199 offers uh, at that particular price point. Right. So uh, go to vibermass.com, sign up, so you'll get the word when the product actually launches. Okay. And get there early. Check, and check down here, uh, my friends, the link the, below. Just go to vipermass.com right now. That's right. And sign or up. Or in the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and sign up. And, uh, and sign up. Yes. And tell our audience one more thing. It's like once you launch it and you have it, you have a, a, a certain amount of warranty. Or what would be the Yeah, the so it, it, it's going to – well, first of all, when you buy it, you know, uh, for whatever reason you get it, you don't like it, it doesn't – it doesn't deliver to you what you thought it was going to deliver. Uh, the first 30 days, we'll take it back from you and return your oh, okay. money. Uh, but as far as the warranty on the product, it'll be a one-year uh, warranty if anything happens during the one year. Uh, because it's not a product that typically is going to get repaired, right. so we would replace it. Okay, and it charges with a mini USB cable, a standard mini-USB cable. Yeah, so mini the USB connection cable. for the charging uh, is from uh, a uh, micro USB. Micro USB. Micro USB, USB. Okay. to... USB. Perfect. And the charger will come with the charger, I assume? Yeah, so everything? in the box, in the box, you get, uh, in addition to the mask, you get uh, three filters. Okay. Uh, and you get also the charging cable. Uh -huh. And on the Indiegogo campaign, uh, campaign and on our website, uh, we will also make additional filters available that are customized for this particular mask. And if I run out of filters in the next three months, uh, you'll be able to you order them through the website? You can go to our website. website, yeah, absolutely, and we will be able to sell your replacement filters. One thing that really like caught, caught my eye, guys, is that you're cleaning your mask 
and you're like, okay, what do I do with this if it's if I believe it suspiciously has something yeah. or somebody was sneezing or coughing next to me, how do I, well, I throw it away or can no, I clean no, it? No, 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 no. Let so me tell you. T t so tell us yeah, about that device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in addition, you'll see on our camp page too. We're uh, showing that on the screen right now. Go oh, ahead. good, great. So we have a, uh, we're going to have a carry case that in addition to being able to store uh, the mask is also a UV sterilizer. Ah, uh, okay. And, and then so, that's, that's an extra yeah, charge. That's yeah, an yeah. extra charge, right, yeah. for that. Yeah, extra for that. Okay. But, but because it's part of the campaign, we're providing it at a, a much lower cost than you would find it for to buy it if you were just buying it like on Amazon or something. Like okay. That, right. And that will be uh, 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 basically we'll, 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 you can keep the mask there. You can mask, clean it. You can put your keys in there. You can probably put your phone in there. Maybe your wallet. If you you the put the wallet on some, you want. some bar exactly. or a, tool, a stool or something. And yes. then maybe you suspect that somebody was there. Right. You can place your things there. And then like uh, in what, how much time it takes to for the UV to kill uh, the virus or This particular uh, device. And, and they vary based upon how powerful the UV ray is, this particular device will uh, sanitize everything that's in it in 90 seconds. Wow. Yeah, so it's pretty quick. Wow. We're also going to make some other stuff available as part of the campaign that you'll see. Um, we're also going to be uh, giving away, as part of the campaign, a, uh, a nice little add-on. It's a, uh, one of those touchless keys. So when you get on the elevator and you don't want to push oh, the button so with your finger, you just use the touchless key. Okay. And it's going to come with a uh, carbiner, which uh, uh, is uh, a lot of people use it for a keychain. It's the kind of thing that you see mountain climbers use as they hook, you know, they repel right, the right, mountain right, right, and they have to right. clip on. And this will also be provided with, a, it, you know, it'll be a little promotional thing for us with our name on it and our company colors. Right. Uh, but we're going to give that away in the campaign to uh, everybody who uh, contributes to the campaign. You see, guys, you get the mask, you get a carrying case yeah. that you can actually use to clean your mask yeah. or your personal sanitize belonging. Your mask. So yes. sanitize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanitize it. That's ultraviolet in 90 seconds. Yeah. You can be, you can feel safer than rubbing with some alcohol your hands. We're going to put your hands there, right? That's the... No, no, don't touch it. UV light is not good for the skin. <laughs> it's, uh, that's exactly right. Yeah. In fact, that's uh, that's probably why a lot of people die in Mars because <laughs> of the UV, UV light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no atmosphere. But uh, uh, but in, in essence, in the last in the last few minutes, uh, uh, Bruce, and, and, and this is something I think people are curious, in your world of startups, right? You Aftershock, you mentioned that, right? This yes. is This is a great project and everything. But I believe that I will consider after Chuck like an exit. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I was a uh, a partner with the uh, Chinese manufacturer. Okay. Uh, I had a contract with them for uh, five years, and at the end of the five years, they uh, wanted to buy me out, and uh, so they did, and okay. that was my exit. So you exited. So yeah, you and see? then I retired for a couple of months. I got very bored. Okay. So that I needed to keep busy, you know. So uh, you see, Bruce is, a, is, is, is I'm a, is an a, entrepreneur. Is an entrepreneur, <laughs> but 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 you're not originally from Florida, right, Bruce? No, uh, no, no. I'm from uh, upstate New York. Well, originally, originally from Brooklyn, New York, uh, but I lived in Syracuse, New York, for about 30 years, and that's where Aftershocks was based. Right. Since I left, they've since moved to Austin, Texas. Oh. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I had Aftershocks. Before that, I was with the company called the now called the neat company when i was there it was called neat receipts it's also a uh, uh one of the founders there uh where we digitized paper so we had a scanner software solution that allowed you to do your expenses automatically just by like scanning oh. in your receipts business like cards. like quickbooks uh, right now yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it integrated with quickbooks oh, for okay, example okay. so that was kind of cool and before that i had a company called Digital Innovations, which back in the day, for some of our uh, more senior listeners who had CDs <laughs> and DVDs, this was a, a device that actually repaired scratches oh. on CDs and DVDs. And, and it was... Uh, it you was, sold it on Best Buy, you mentioned. I did. Huh? In fact, I sold... There's a good story. So I sold it on Best Buy initially as the Skip Doctor, uh, but many buyers in many other departments also wanted a piece of the action. So we had to rename it based on uh, the different department buyers. So I had a DVD doctor. I had a photo doctor. <laughs> I had an auto doctor. I had a DVD. So, you know, it's the same product. But I had different uh, different names, different color box, just to So you see, startups, you 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 have yeah. to you something you have to pivot even with That's the same right. the same technology, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Pe but just not just the technology, no, the same the, product, the same brand, <laughs> yeah. just rebranded yeah. a little bit. So exactly. That's great. That's exactly. fantastic news. Yeah. And 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 in, 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 in your personal life, like when when do you move to Florida? When do you come to Florida? I came down here from Syracuse uh, about three years ago. Uh, my wife has been wanting to come down here for a long time. 
And uh, when I exited uh, Aftershocks, it gave us the opportunity uh, to do that. Okay. And uh, and here we are. We love it down here. Even in the summer, we love it. So. Even with COVID nineteen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but we do all that. We take all the necessary precautions. Yes, yes, yeah. And, I see uh, you. You're wearing your yeah, mask. Yeah, oh, always. He's always. working on a mask, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's like, it's like he's taking care of everything. That's right. Yeah, and maintain and social distance. Maintain and wash social my hands. distance. Yeah. Yeah. So, so okay. So when yeah. once again, when is the launch date? August fourth. Uh, and you'll go to vibermass.com and sign up, uh, and you'll be uh, really the first to know. Everybody who signs up will get the information at the same time. Well, guys, uh, uh, I really support this <laughs> this project. I support this crowd, uh, crowdsourcing campaign, and um, I'm backing them up in multiple ways. Yes, that we can discuss. and we appreciate that, Edwin, very much. And one last thing, like we're, we're raising capital and we're getting investors yes. excited, right? Yes. So that's, uh, that's a very interesting. So you're an investor, part of our investor network. Contact us. Yes. The, 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 the website is down below. You will send me an email to me or go to the eGlavator, and that's uh, going to have this video there for you to watch. And then we're going to have some other videos and some other presentations for for the investors, correct? Abs 100%. All right. Uh, any last words for, for our audience? No, it's exciting times. Uh, we're obviously excited uh, for the launch. We're excited about the product. Uh, we think that uh, we believe very strongly, based on uh, what some of these other masks on Indiegogo have done, that we should have a very successful campaign, which we're looking forward to. One last thing is that I think I, I recorded something for you last uh, uh, last week. Yes. And uh, and you said in Conduction Lab, you said the mission statement in like a few words. What's, what's Conduction Lab's mission well, statement? Well, we, we, uh, we, we haven't actually written a, the, the mission statement. It's something that we want to discuss. But basically what we look at as a company to do is to look at, uh, and I mentioned this a little earlier, uh, take uh, it may be existing technologies uh, and look to improve them, either from uh, adding features, uh, uh, changing the design, making it uh, more consumer uh, friendly uh, and more usable, uh, easily usable for the consumer. Um, and uh, uh, that's really what our intention is. And if that means sometimes taking technologies that are from different areas but bringing them together, uh, we look to do that too. And I want to plug for Edwin because Edwin has been very helpful uh, in that regard in terms of his uh, expertise uh, both in uh, electronics and, uh, and computer science. Uh, he's uh, really added a lot of value to our company. We appreciate that, Edwin. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. we have uh, some surprises coming up, too. We're working on it right now. Hopefully, we can make the date. Yes. Which is August 4th. Yes. Now is good. And we're going to keep you posted. Maybe we're going to have another interview to follow up on this. And uh, and we're going to record some episodes of, of, of this adventure, right? The yes. We're gonna labs. We want to give the consumer, let them come on the journey with us. Uh, as we came up with uh, the concept on the product, uh, we'll have a, take a look at the, our manufacturer. We'll have some uh, video. We'll talk to the general manager of the factory. We're going to talk to other team members and other vendors. We're going to talk to Edwin, too. Okay. And, 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 uh, and, and really try to make this something that uh, uh, a little bit different than what you typically happens on uh, crowdfunding to kind of give you a look behind the curtain. Excellent news. Thank you very much, Bruce. Thank you very much for Conduction Labs. Guys, so stay very, very tuned to this one. Don't, don't miss it. This is a great opportunity to get this real gadget that is going to be useful for probably the next two or three years. Uh, uh, it, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully is a is a shorter time. But, <laughs> but even then, even if you just want to use it to protect yourself when you are in a, in cleaning your house or your you're just uh, working out and, and the outdoors with all the gases. You want to keep your vehicles. hands free. This hands is the product. Free. This yes. is a good product for you to maintain. And uh, it's reusable, rechargeable. Yes. You don't have combined multiple things in one. And, uh, well, August 4th. Yes, Thank indeed. you very much. You're Thank watching you, TV. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.